Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be talking about nursery purified water. If you guys would like some more information on nursery purified water, please be sure to check my video description for more information on it. So if you guys are not familiar with what nursery water is, is it's amazing. Um, this is something that you could leave out at room temperature and you can make cereal with it, you can make bottles with it. Um, you can mix it with juice because a lot of juices have a lot of sugar for kids. Um, so if you're trying to give them less sugar and you want to kind of uh, water down the juice a little bit, this is perfect for that. The reason that I started using nursery water is because in the middle of the night, um, what I was doing with formula was I was getting the water from the filter in my refrigerator. Um, and then I had to wait for the bottle to heat up with either a bottle warmer or with um, my coffee machine when I just emptied out some hot water and I'd have to wait in the middle of the night for the bottle to heat up and the lack of sleep and just it just would add to minutes that I was awake in the middle of the night and my baby would be hungry and cranky and crying because he was waiting for the bottle to heat up. So I discovered nursery water. I love it. Um, you could leave it out at room temperature and all you have to do in the middle of the night for those feeds is um, put some water in the bottle and add the powdered formula. Unless you guys use ready to feed, then you wouldn't need this. But for powdered formula, you would just add the formula, shake it up. Um, I usually, after I shake it up, I usually hit the bottle on the counter a couple times just to get rid of the air bubbles and it's good to go. You don't have to wait for this to heat up. It's automatically room temperature. Um, and I also just, if you're a new parent, I don't suggest heating the baby's bottle every time because then what happens is they get used to only taking a warm bottle and they won't take a bottle if you're out and about and have nowhere to heat it. So say the baby gets hungry, you're at the store, you're at your friend's house, you're at a party, you're just at like some kind of event outdoors, there's no way to heat the bottle and then they won't take the room temperature one because they're so used to the hot, the hot bottle or the warm bottle. So I suggest... Uh, doing uh, room temperature just to get your baby used to it. Um, so this is purified with steam distillation, filtration, and oz oz ozonation to remove contaminants, impurities, and bacteria. Um, it's totally inexpensive and it's a 128 uh, ounce container and it's recyclable. It's specially made to mix with formula and cereal, dilute juices, and hydrate toddlers and babies older than six months. Um, my baby is uh, two months, so I just mix this with the formula, but that's, I guess, if you're just giving the baby uh, water on its own, then it's good for six months and up. It's been trusted by parents for more than 70 years, and it's available in economical one-gallon bottles. Um, for more than 70 years, parents have trusted nursery water with added fluoride, which is important, too, for their teeth as part of their baby's and toddler's healthy routines. That's just another reason I like the nursery water, because the regular water from my filter does not have fluoride in it. Uh, nursery water is purified with steam distillation, filtration, etc. Um, you can consult your physician or dental professional if using another fluor fluoridated product. Um, my older son, I think he was six months and up when they started giving him the multivitamin fluoride drops. Um, so for him, since he's he's almost two at this point, he really does not um, he does not need anything with added fluoride, but for my younger, my youngest son, who's only almost 11 weeks, um, he definitely needs this. Uh, it's good for, you know, his, he doesn't have teeth yet, but um, when they are developing, it's definitely good for that. Um, and it does not contain any of the eight major allergens. Um, the formula focuses for growth support. The base ingredient is hydrolyzed protein. Uh, it is gluten-free, liquid, and ready to drink. So um, when you first start um, feeding your baby like oatmeal, you can mix it with breast milk, you can mix it with formula, or you can mix it, uh, mix it with the nursery water. This is what the label looks like just to show you guys. Fluoride added, consult your physician or dental professional, it says on the front. One gallon container, just like so, it looks like a regular container of water. Um, I just purchased this the other day and it tells you it's bottled 11, 20, 21, um, and it's best by uh, May 22nd, 23. So when you buy it, you will have a while before um, it expires. And you probably will go through this within a couple of weeks if you use this for every bottle, um, depending like 
how often your baby's feeding and stuff like that. Uh, for me, this at this point lasts a couple weeks. My son drinks um, about five ounces every uh, four to five hours at this point. Um, but I will continue to, to use this and he does really well on it. It actually helped him when he was having like some tummy aches. Um, when I started giving this to him, he stopped having them. So it helped with that as well for me. So I hope you guys found my video useful for the nursery purified water with added fluoride. If you found it useful, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know. And I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Thanks guys and have a great day.